Today we're going to go down the rabbit hole of working on television and how you can make money off of it in many, many ways. One you can do to repair yourself and work on the TV. And most of the time, let's say the TV is 10, 15 years old, it's going to be capacitors. And so you can go online and order a kit, kit maybe about 10 bucks, turn around and sell it to a person. And you get it in, you repair it, you charge the the end user fifty dollars, so you make forty bucks. In addition to this, you find out what the parts that you need for these capacitors. You turn around and you sell those parts as a kit online, eBay or wherever your preference is. That's another source of income: selling parts. Another way of making income off of this, additionally to all of this and combine, is you take and you repair the TV and find the parts that you need to repair the TV as far as capacitors go. You make a video and you put that on YouTube. Now you have income coming from repairing the TV. And you have income eventually coming from YouTube. You have income coming from making the parts kit and putting it in your video description link on your YouTube. And you have income for people that don't know how to repair TVs and they can take it apart and send you the circuit board and you charge them money to do so. So you're charging 50 bucks to repair the TV, circuit board. And then you send it back, include shipping. Maybe shipping is going to be $15. And you make 35 bucks off of $3 worth of parts. And that's how you can make money repairing TVs. It's stupid simple you can get the ones that are very easy to do and that's what I've done and it's helped us continue on our little vacation trips and whatnot to pay off bills and whatever so on my main channel I have like 17,000 subscribers and I've done everything legit with the government and turn in how much money I make and all that including with YouTube and people that bring them here for me to work on them and just off of YouTube, since 2012, I've made close to $40,000 just off of video advertisement. And that's not bad. That's half a house payment right there. So, that's how you make money working on TVs. Okay, so I've, I've replaced these off film, and I wanted to show you how to replace the other two. These are 1,500 microfarad, or 1,200 microfarad. These are... Uh, these are 10 volt, these are 25 volt, okay? Your 10 volt, they're probably going to be the ones that's causing your issues and not the 25. But we're going to go ahead and change it since so I already have the parts. Now, I'm showing you the home user how to do this. It's going to be pretty simple. Like I said, you need a toothpick, soldering iron, wire cutters, and a little bit of luck. You don't really need that much luck. And I'm going to describe this the best way I can. And I'll show you in, in illustration and maybe you'll be able to see it. When I put this, this uh, component, this capacitor is on the other side of the board, when I heat up the, the leg closest to you, I'm actually going to be pulling away like this on the other side. And then when I heat up the front leg, I'm going to be shoving it. So I'm basically rocking it back and forth. And you'll see how quickly and simple and fast it is once the solder melts. So I got one side out. Got that side out. I'm going to do the last little thing. And we're done. Do the same thing with this one again. Wham. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, toothpick. Let me show you the toothpick trick. You're going to have these solder holes that are just now filled back up with solder. And hopefully you'll be able to see that. They'll just now fill back up with solder. But you can't put a component lead in that. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this hole back up with the same solder and iron. And a toothpick. And you're going to jam this toothpick in there. And just kind of rotate it. And that pushes the solder away. Okay? That's what we're going to be doing here. Alright. That hole's open. 
that hole is not completely open, but I'll do it again. There we go, perfect. And that hole is already good. Electrolytic capacitors are like batteries. You are going to have a positive and a negative on there. This white line here means it is going to be negative. On circuit boards, unless the engineers are goofy, they're always going to have positive and negative on here. You see it's a positive sign, a little plus sign. It's right there. And each little grid thing means that it's a negative sign. Like I said, unless, unless the uh, engineer was goofy and he didn't do it right, well, that has happened before. And I have worked on circuit boards that were like that. And it really throws you in a loop. And off camera, you're not seeing me putting it in there, but I'm basically just sticking it in the hole. And then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to bend the lead over just as fresh as I can. Okay? Just like that. Just like that. And then again, with some little magic of soldering, Let's see where we're at, but up here on camera, I'm going to take in, solder these leads. Alright, just do it like that. Try not to blob any solder anywhere outside your component area. And it should be set. It's just really terrible solder blob, but I'm doing it outside. I don't really do TV repair anymore at all, but basically doing it for a friend. Okay, so repeat process and rinse and do the same thing for everything that this guy had put in a kit. You can look online and you see that they had the kit and do the same thing for all the little capacitors on this board. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then we'll put it in the TV, and we'll see that it's working. And so my last step is to test this out, which I have. I plugged it in, turned it on, and it works. So all I have to do now is put my left and right brackets on here. Call the customer and tell them it's ready. Click my 50 bucks. Compile this all into the video figure out what the rest of this parts kit is, upload the video, make my parts kit, office services to repair and TVs, and I'm continuing making money. That's my help for you. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.